All right, so let me show you guys a little bit better close up of what we're gonna be shooting today. This is the bulletproof or bullet resistant plate that we made. Uh, you can see it's about the same size as our RTS tactical plate that we have here. I weighed this plate. This plate is eight pounds. And obviously this is either front or rear. And this one came in at just under six pounds. So relatively close in weight. We will put duct tape around it. Um, and we're gonna duct tape it to these two liters here. Uh, a lot of these videos that I've watched in the past, uh, they had these kind of just propped up and it allowed this to bounce around. So we're gonna try to eliminate that today. Again, huge shout out to ZNA Productions. Uh, it's obviously where I got the original idea for this fiberglass. You can check out the full build at the end of this video. We're gonna start this video off with uh, just getting right into the shooting. Uh, we'll shoot the Canic that we have there and nine millimeter. We'll shoot the Glock 23, which is 40 cal. Uh, then we'll move up to the rifle rounds. Uh, obviously, the goal of this video, I don't think the 9mm or the 40 will have any shot of getting through this thing, uh, is to see if we can stop the AR-15. We did bring an AR-15 round uh, and the AK-47 round. We brought the AK-47 as well. So, again, huge shout out to ZNA Productions. Uh, we got the graphite powder in here. We got the layers of rocks. Again, you can check out the full build at the end of this video. Right now, let's get this thing taped up and grab the 9mm and do some shooting. First shot up is the 9mm. We'll be shooting this Hornady Critical Defense. And this is 115 grain. And this is what she looks like. All right, son. Let's take a shot. Moment of truth. All right, let's go check it out. All right, this is where our 9mm round caught it here in the front. And uh, go around the back, no back face deformation. Uh, nice and clean on the back. So let's line up now and take a shot with the 40 and uh, see if she stops the 40. So far, so good. And next up, we have the 40 cal. We'll be shooting this critical defense again. This is 165 grain. And this is what she looks like. If we can get it to focus. All right, a lot, of, a lot of you guys always ask and wonder why we do these uh, homemade body armor videos to begin with. There has been some discussion of body armor plates being banned by the government. Uh, you could also have an SHTF situation. So knowing how to make these could potentially save your life one day or the life of one of your loved ones. All right, son, on you. We cut it apart and there's where my son hit it with the 40 cal. And we got a little back face deformation right here, but nothing came through. Uh, back is still nice and clean. And again, that was the nine millimeter and that was the 40s. Oftentimes when we do these kind of videos, we get asked, uh, well, what if you shot it multiple times with the, the handgun? You know, what, what is this multi-hit capability? So we got the nine uh, loaded up with the critical defense again. All right, my son just gonna unload. All right, so I'm even more impressed with this build now. Uh, we just put five more rounds through with the nine millimeter and it stopped them all relatively easily. Nothing, nothing went through. Got the tape back on. We're done with the pistols. Uh, I'm very happy with the build so far. Um, again, this took us about 40 bucks, 45 bucks. Uh, uh, again, at the very end of this video, you can go and see how we put this entire build together. I'm very happy with how it's performed so far. It's, uh, taking a couple of shots from the pistols. And at the end of the day, most murders, crimes, et cetera, are com committed with handguns uh, anyway over AR-15s, AK-47s, and rifles. So now we're about to take out the AR-15 and uh, give it a shot. No point intended. Um, skeptical about how this thing is going to perform against the AR-15. Obviously, those rounds are moving a heck of a lot faster. So, what do you think? Uh, is it going to stop the AR-15, or are we going to have success today? I think we're going to have some success. You think we're going to have success? Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I guess we'll find out. Let's line up and uh, take the shot. Uh, moment of truth. We got uh, the AR-15. Got my Bushmaster AR-15 right there. 16-inch barrel. Run of the mill. Here's the ammo that we'll be shooting. This is more critical defense from Hornady. And this should be 55 grain, two, two, three. All right, moment of truth, son. Nope. 
I think that was our answer. Let's check it out. Okay, so there's our little tiny hole in the front from the 223. We'll go around the back side and you can see where she blew straight through. All right, so the other day when we shot this video, uh, the first time I forgot to take these ceramic tiles. So we're back out at the range again and we're gonna clip this in uh, to the rest of the video. We got the AR-15 again. We taped uh, the ceramic tile to the front of that plate. And uh, just to see if it'll stop this AR-15 round. All right, here we go. All right, so once again, here we are with the AR-15. We got it loaded up with one round. We'll take a shot at this plate and see what happens. All right, on you, son. All right, let's go see what happened. All right, so we're gonna turn this thing over off camera just to see what happened, but we see the cinder block didn't crack. Uh, we don't see a bullet up here, so we're gonna look with you guys for the first time. All right, Jake, you wanna flip that thing over? Moment of truth. Ah, it stopped it. It stopped it. There's a huge back uh, face deformation right there, but it didn't go through. Uh, so if you remember going back to ZNA Productions uh, video when he made uh, from a few years ago, a lot of people went down in the comments and said, hey, you know, I wonder what would happen if you put ceramic plate or ceramic tile in front of the bills. Uh, guys, yeah, these, these little plates were 50 cents each. Uh, so adding a, a dollar's, dollar's worth of this porcelain tile, these ceramic plate to the front, uh, completely allowed us to stop the, the round from the AR-15. I am not certain if I brought anything else with me today, but I'm going to go see. I'm going to see if we actually have uh, my 308. Uh, if we do, we'll come back and we'll shoot this with the 308 one time and uh, see what happens. All right, so we got to set back up on the table. Uh, my son's going to take a shot with the 308. We got 150 grain soft point for hunting. All right, son, go ahead and load it up. You can see we, we got to take back up. We got to put back on the table. I don't think there's any chance that this 308 is going to get stopped. But that's why we run the test. All right, whenever you're ready, son. All right, go check it out. All right, there's the entry point from the 308. We come around the back side. You can see, again, she punched through. So even with the ceramic, still couldn't stop the 308. But we did stop the AR-15. Guys, it's very, very difficult with the homemade body armor to stop a AR-15 round. I have done it before on other videos with other builds that we've done. I'll put a link where you guys can check those out. But we do have a bunch of other toys out today. We got the AK-47 and we got the 308 as well. So we're going to line up now, grab the probably the AK-47, take a shot with the AK-47, uh, double back with the 308 just so we can check out the difference between the damage and the entry wounds and then the exit from each of those rounds. So let's grab the AK-47 and take a shot. All right, next up, we got my Sentry Arms AK-47. Uh, we'll be shooting this round out of it. All right, son, let's do this for science. All right, let's go check it out. All right, there's the entry from the AK-47. And there's the exit. And we'll take these off in a second. We're going to grab the 308 and take one more shot. And then we'll rip this thing off and take a better, closer look at it. All right, let's grab the 308. All right, last but not least, we got the 308. This is the Savage Model 10. Uh, I just got this a few weeks ago. I had an uncle that passed away from brain cancer. Uh, he really wanted me to have this rifle. So uh, that's why I picked up this. 308 from there is the ammo that we'll be shooting we'll be shooting this true velocity i think there's 168 grain all right son take the shot all right let's go check it out all right so that's a closer look at the front side we cut it, cut it off so you guys can uh, actually see the exit exit holes on the back side we got the ar-15 right here 308 and the AK-47. I'm going to flip this over. There's your AK-47 exit right there. And you can see where it just blew straight through those fiberglass fibers. Uh, the AR right here. And the 
uh, 308 right here. So again, overall, I'm impressed with this build. Uh, we were able to stop uh, the, the handgun rounds with this thing. We'll probably uh, just keep this uh, in our arsenal. Uh, probably make some more videos, see if we can uh, strengthen this thing up a little bit better. But overall, I'm impressed. I'm happy with, with the way this thing turned out because we were able to stop the handguns pretty pretty easily. I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Hang around to the end and you can see how we put this thing together. This entire build. Junior out. So let me show you guys the materials that we got for this build. We got the fiberglass mat that we got off Amazon, which is like 25 bucks. We got our plate here that we're going to be using as a mold on the front and rear. Uh, this cloth is just for us to build on. We got the graphite powder, which is like 20 bucks on Amazon. We'll probably use a couple of spoonfuls. And then we got the fiberglass resin and we got this little bucket here to stir it up in. Got this bag of pea pebbles from Walmart for $4.99. Probably gonna use 25 cents of it. We got this strip of carbon fiber Kevlar off Amazon for like 10 bucks also. So I did want to take a second to show you exactly how I outlined this fiberglass mat and cut it out. We took the mat, folded it in half, and then just drew outlines of our armored plate. As you can see here, we got the outlines all drawn, and now we just go in and we start cutting this stuff. Typically the resin is clear, but you can see that graphite powder there is like black, like a dark gray. And we got that added by the spoonfuls into our resin uh, to provide some hardness to the resin. Here we got our wax paper on top. We'll just start laying these layers down and see what happens. As you can see here, we got all of our PPE on, our long sleeves. We got our long pants and our gloves. So for starters, we got it mixed up, the resin and the graphite powder. And we'll put a layer on top of the wax paper. And this will be our initial coat, and then we'll start grabbing the, the different layers of the fiberglass and laying them on top. All right, here we go with the first layer. Get it down, try to get all the air out of it. Then we'll take our brush and start putting another coat of resin on, and we'll keep going like this. And we decided we we're going to do 10 layers. After 10 layers, then we'll put a layer of rocks down. And now we'll come on top and we'll put one layer of the rocks. Now this is something different than uh, they did in the other video with ZNA production. Uh, so again, we were trying to make this build uh, like his, but then, uh, like I said before, I also went down in the comments and I saw some different ideas and came up with a couple of things. So one was obviously the graphite, graphite powder. Uh, another thing we're trying to do differently here is adding these layers of rocks in. So we'll add a layer of rocks and we'll put some resin on top of it and then we'll start layering again with the fiberglass mat. It's time to mix up another batch of resin. You can see I'm adding in the graphite powder. So we take that powder, mix it in, and then we stir it around for about 20 seconds. And then we can start putting layers down again. We've been at this about 45 minutes now. Just adding layers of fiberglass mat. Now it's time to add another layer of, of this rock pebble. After we get this layer of rocks added, we'll start laying down the mat again. So here I am mixing up another batch of epoxy. So you don't want to mix up too much at one time. Uh, we try to do enough for five, six, seven layers at a time um, before this stuff starts to harden on us. Get the mat laid down, and then we just start spreading the epoxy resin on top. You can see here in the video, I got my respirator on, got my safety glasses on, long sleeves, gloves. This stuff is really nasty, so just make sure you use all the proper PPE when you're putting this build together. Make sure we get full coverage all the way around, and we pick up another layer, and keep going until we finish. All right, we got it all done. Still wet. We'll leave it on this for the next four or five days to dry and come back and see what we got. All right, so now it's been a few days and you can see we're coming back in and we got the mold all together. All right, well, it's been a few days. You can see we got our respirator on, our long sleeves. 
I should have put on some long pants in this video too, but hey, you can't be perfect. So now we're just gonna try to get this mold separated from our cardboard here. All right, now we got it separated. Time to see if we can cut some of these edges off and make it a little smoother around the edges. That's it for this build. Super excited about how this build turned out. Uh, for about 40 bucks, 45 bucks, we were able to build something that we're really happy with. Had multi-hit capability with the nine millimeter. I uh, was even able to stop it by putting some porcelain plates in front of it with uh, an AR-15. So again, super excited about this build. Shout out to ZNA Production again for the original concept. We just took his idea, expounded on it, made it a little bit better. This plate came in about the same weight. Actually, it's two pounds less than the standard plate for about 30, 35, 40 bucks, especially if you started ordering in bulk. Uh, just can't beat this build. Uh, go down in the comments. Let me know what you guys uh, would add to this build to make it even stronger, make it even better. I uh, appreciate you guys checking out the video. Junior out.